Good morning guys, we're back here. Welcome to the vlog. This is vlog number 78, I think. I think the last one was wrong. Um, and it is, is it Wednesday already? Yeah, Wednesday, October 30th. Uh, and it is 8.24. We're a little bit late this morning. Ain't feeling too great. Uh, didn't sleep very well. And it's like uh, getting cold and gross outside. And I think I'm getting a little bit of a cold. So I'm kind of like half steam this morning, but got to jump on here and do what I can. So uh, with these gray weathers, everything getting colder, I was trying to think about what I wanted to talk about this morning. And I thought maybe talking about my last apartment could be a lot of fun. So we recently moved, uh, me and my wife, in June. Well, in May, June. Oh. And came to Durham, North Carolina, uh, in search of jobs, uh, you know, a little bit different style of living, all that kind of stuff uh, that you look for. And uh, before that, though, you know why I said and, uh, we lived in a teeny tiny cabin in western North Carolina. Now, this cabin, the only benefit of it was that it was cheap for what it was, and it was really close to campus. We lived within walking distance of classes uh, from the Western North Carolina campus, uh, Western North Carolina University campus, I guess if that matters. Um, so that was really nice. Uh, we paid like five fifty, I think, for a month's rent for a one-and-a-half-bedroom uh, cabin. It was an apartment, so that was kind of nice. You had kind of your own area. Uh, what wasn't nice is these apartments were old. Well, these cabins, they were cabins, not apartments, um, were old. <sighs> so much so that there were some very interesting and unique design choices about them. And I actually did a lot of work to fix some of them as we lived there. We were there for two years um, while we finished up getting our degrees. Um, first couple things. One, there's two doors going in to the, uh, the cabin. One, like, facing, say we're facing straight, looking at one door. One went into the living room, and there would be one to your left that went into the kitchen. Um, both of these doors were technically interior doors. They were not sealed or made for being outside. As such, they were cracked. Uh, they were dry rotted. Uh, they also didn't line up correctly. Like, the one in the kitchen drugged the floor. And you could actually, if you look through where the lock on the door... Um, like turned you could actually see the outside world which was never good so they lived in a lot of cold air um so in the winter times we had to keep heaters going constantly and it still was very cold uh, i think the lowest i've seen it one morning is i got up and it was like 59 in the house uh which is not good <laughs> so having central heat and air is pretty nice now um next thing so say you go into the living room uh, there was a wood fireplace in there, which was kind of nice to help keep the house warm. Um, not good ventilation for it. So the ceilings got smoked. Uh, so they were like white with like a circular looking smoke mark on the ceiling, um, from the last tenants. Uh, there was two spots where the carpet was coming up. Um, what do you think? The hole in, let me see it. Was it every wall? I think two of the walls in the living room had wood paneling. No, it might have only been one. It might have been only the right wall as you came in. Um, the left wall as you came in, it came into like a little bit of a foyer kind of thing. Like a, I don't know, a three foot like entryway and then into the living room. Uh, the left wall of that was actually part of the exterior. It was like the shingles that were on the outside that were just never removed and put it and a proper wall was never put in. Interesting choice. Um, the ceilings had cracks in it in the living room. And I think there's a big hole that someone just taped over. Uh, so that was a thing. And then you go into the half room, which connected the living room to the kitchen room. Uh, you stepped up about six inches because the living room was lower. And the floor transitions to like a brown hardwood that wasn't really, it wasn't like glossy sealed. It was more like laid down and painted. Um, it was like a brown hardwood that's been painted a couple different times and the paint's like flecked up in different areas. So it has like more of a speckled look than a solid color. Um, it was all white. There was like hand-built shelves in there. Uh, two windows, one of which which didn't open. Let me think. 
I think that's the weirdest stuff in there. Um, then you go into the kitchen. The kitchen had a, the floor had like more of a dome shape to it. Uh, it kind of bubbled up and went back down. Uh, it was white and green painted checkered look, tiled look um, with the tiniest stove I've ever seen. It was like this big, like as wide as my chest um, and the corner to save space. Uh, there was like a little banister in there that had, uh, that was just there, I guess to like set stuff in. I don't know. It was like right to the left of one of the counters. Um, I think that's it. Bedroom was the next room in front and it, there was a bathroom to your right. Uh, bedroom was just pretty standard typical bedroom. It actually had been kind of redone so there's some little like the color the paint was a little more vibrant um, and the ceiling was two different tiles like one side was wood and one side was like the crappy like checkered ceiling tiles. I don't have it in here so I can't like the foam tiles that were up in the ceiling. I can't think of the name of them but that was the bedroom. Uh, also we ha didn't have a breaker box we had a fuse box. So, especially during the winters, it was bad. We ran two heaters, a oil heater and an electric heater. Like, well, an oil, electric oil heater, and then just a standard box electric heater. And then the wood stove, if we had wood at the time. Um, and if you had both heaters going and you kicked on a microwave, power's out, fuse is blown. So we had to play this game, weird game of uh, flipping off and on heaters uh, trying to use different bits of our appliances uh, because the fuse weren't cheap. They were like $7 a piece. Uh, and in college, we were kind of pretty trying to stay pretty tight on our money. And then last but not neat was the bathroom with the two, like it was like a, I don't know, like a three foot by three foot stall shower. Um, the toilet and the water heater were like pretty much in the same spot. Uh, you actually bumped your knees on the water heater if you're not careful. Uh, and it was not covered, just open water, like open... Uh, half height water heater and I think that was it uh, that describes it fairly well um, it was a $550 cabin like the price says it all on what it was so I thought that'd be a fun little experience especially with it getting cold um, and remembering back on those times anyways guys I'm gonna wrap up here hope you guys did enjoy if you did you can hit the like button or subscribe if you want to see more and if you want to drop a comment telling me about the wackiest places you ever lived, you can do that right down in the comment sections. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.